Hello friends, welcome to Unfold Data Science. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist with 9 years of experience in data science and machine learning. In today's video, I am going to talk about data science in plain English. Apart from that, I will take an industry use case and explain how is that data science is able to help businesses grow. How is that we use our skill set to help businesses in achieving their revenue targets doing well in their businesses. So just watch the video till the end so that you have a very good understanding of how typically data science project work. Does it sound interesting? Let's get started. So what comes to your mind when I say the word data science? Okay, let's not make it more complicated and I'll tell you in very simple term what is actually data science. Data science, if I have to explain in couple of words, I'll simply say study of data. So in very simple terms, data science is nothing but study of data. Okay. To give an example, let's say I capture all my expenses during the weekend for last one year. Okay. So let's say I go one week back, I go two weeks back, I go three weeks back and I'm going till last year and I'm going till 52 weeks back. Okay. So in all these weekends i want to capture what is my expense in those weekends so let me put some number against it let's say ten dollars fifteen dollars twelve dollars or something like twenty five dollars okay now this is a data in front of us what study can we do on this data so the study or the analysis can be very simple and it can be little complex or more complex as well for example in this particular data we just take the average of these numbers and if that average is $14 we just say my weekend expense on an average for last one year was $14 so this is an example of very simple analysis or very simple study that can be done on this data apart from that there can be further analysis on this data which might not be as simple as this analysis but that might be more useful for businesses there might be different types of analysis that we can do on the same data for example we can also find out an average for summers and average for winters and if we have two numbers in hand we can just calculate the percentage difference between these two and we can make a statement like summer expenses are 20 percent higher than winter expenses so that is also another example of an analysis or a study of the data and that is how we are looking data from various angles and we are studying the data so these are very simple examples of how do we study the data in data science so having seen few examples of study of the data what is the purpose of studying the data the purpose of studying the data is deriving knowledge from the data and this knowledge must be useful for the businesses so the knowledge which can be useful for the business must be derived using advanced techniques right so i am going to cover what are the three major areas of work in a data science project okay so a data science project typically falls on the intersection of three major areas of study or three major areas of work so let me give you a brief about that so this is circle one this is circle two and this is circle three so this circle one is programming or coding so in which language do you communicate with computer there is only one way coding so a data science project or the job of a data scientist is to write codes so that he or she can communicate with the computer so this first circle talks about coding in the last example we saw calculating averages computing percentage differences and all those things right so those are nothing but mathematics or we can call it statistics so in data science project or in day to day work we do require to do very deep dive analysis of the data and mathematics and statistics helps us 
to do so so that is the second most important area of work or i would say major area of knowledge that a data scientist should have so the second circle is mathematics or statistics skills right coming to the third important area of a data science understanding the domain for example if i am working on an insurance data i should have a decent understanding of how typically insurance industry work or what are the major areas of insurance industry or how typically the claims processes how typically the things work in industry so all those things more i know better i'll be able to do the analysis so the third major component or third major area of data science is domains so the job of a data scientist or what we do in our day to day activity falls in between the intersection of all three areas so this area which is the intersection of all three areas is data science so we saw that data science is about study of the data and study of the data need various knowledge areas to be implemented right so what is the use of data science why so much different knowledge areas need to be implemented to study the data the reason is what we as data scientists try to do is find a pattern in the data for example in my previous example if i get to know a pattern that my summer expenses are 20% higher than my winter expenses and this pattern continues for let's say 2 3 years then from the next year i can plan my expenses better so let's go ahead and try to connect data science with business with a real time use case okay so let's say there is an insurance provider i am calling this insurance provider as abc insurance okay so abc insurance this insurance provider is facing a issue that the insurance renew rates are going down okay for example if i am a customer of abc insurance then they are able to sell me insurance in one go but i am not renewing the insurance for the subsequent years okay and this is happening for them for at least like 30 40% of the customers in an year and they are seeing this pattern since last couple of years okay so just to reiterate the problem statement here the renew rates are going down since last couple of years okay so this is a business problem now this abc insurance reaches a data scientist and tells them their problem okay so a data scientist should understand this business problem first and then try to proceed for the solution once the business problem is understood by data scientist then it's the job of a data scientist to identify the areas where this abc insurance company can be helped okay so there might be n number of ways in which i can help this abc insurance company with this problem okay but what is that one way or couple of ways which i will take for this particular problem statement okay it's very simple to understand that abc insurance company would be actually interested in knowing what might be the probable reasons of customers not continuing okay there can be so many reasons for, for example their claim settlement rates are not that great for example their claim documentation process is not good or maybe their no claim bonuses are low as compared to competitors or there might be a number of other reasons okay so in this case let's say i as a data scientist say to the abc insurance guy that i'll give you the reasons why people are not continuing with you okay and at the moment i come to this point that is nothing but defining a use case that i am going to work on okay so i have identified the business problem and i have identified my use case what i will be working on so the next step would be identifying the use case okay once the use case is identified or once the use case identification is in agreement with the business that okay this is what makes sense and this is what we will be interested in knowing then the very next step is collect right data okay once i understand the business problem and the use case then it's my job to put myself in place of customer for a moment and think what might be the probable drivers or what might be the probable reasons of a customer being unhappy with abc and not continuing with them okay 
so we spoke about couple of points like customer might not be happy with the claim complexity customer might not be happy with the claim settlement customer might not be happy with the bonuses that they provide on no claims and there might be n number of reasons right so the job of a data scientist is to collect data around all these probable reasons so collection of data is the very next step in the process of a data science project or data science use case where data around various factors are collected and all these data are collected keeping in mind the use case which we are going to solve so the next step would be collect data so once we have collected the data the very next step is to clean the data the reason for cleaning the data is normally data is collected from various sources and there is a very good possibility that the data might not be clean so the very next step after collecting the data is cleaning it so cleaning is a very important process in data science project and once we have the cleaned data then there comes a very important step in data science project and that is known as exploratory data analysis or eda to keep it simple data exploration okay so what is the data exploration now let me ask you a question when i am collecting this data there would be two sets of people in this data right set 1 will be people who continued their insurance and set 2 will be people who did not continue their insurance so there must be some behavioral differences between this set of people and this set of people maybe this set of people had a good experience with abc company and this set of people might not have very good experience with abc company so how do we validate this how do we validate that the experiences are different and the behavior are different through exploration of the data so if we divide the data into two sets and try to see how customers in this set are behaving and how customers in this set are behaving we'll be able to draw some conclusions from eda or exploration of the data the purpose of doing exploration of the data is gaining a confidence in the data that yes we have collected the right data and we are proceeding in the right direction after the exploration here comes the guy for whom we were waiting so it's high time to try to find out pattern in the data using machine learning algorithm for some of you who could not watch my last video on how machine learning works or what are its major components please go ahead and watch the video the link is there in the description okay so what is the use of machine learning here is we take the data and we feed the data to a machine learning algorithm and we expect that some patterns will evolve as a output okay so taking the data feeding it to a machine learning algorithm and trying to get a pattern hidden in the data this process is called training the model the model is a little technical term here to keep it very simple model is nothing but output of a machine learning algorithm that has learned the pattern of the data okay so the next step would be training a model so once we have the trained model with us we expect this trained model to give us few information at a high level it will give us the behavioral differences between people from this set and people from this set means people who continued their insurance and people who did not continue their insurance apart from that we can also expect another information from the trained model is what are the influencing factors or what are the major drivers for people to take a decision that whether they want to continue with abc or they do not want to continue with abc so having all these information in hand we can go back to abc insurance and give them some insights and recommendation telling them this is what our observation is so maybe you can act on this and your business will improve so the very next step would be insights and recommendations through this example i tried to bridge the gap between data science and a business problem so how is that data science is able to solve a business problem or how is that data science skills are useful for the businesses so i hope you like this video if yes please go ahead and press the like button also please share with your friends who would be interested in knowing more about data science and machine learning i request you to subscribe the channel right now if you have not subscribed yet thanks for watching take care